guys, Costco in a nutshell, let's check it out. Right, so, in the last in a nutshell video, I've never heard of this, uh, never heard of this content creator, so. So this Apple Store in a nutshell video blew up. Stores, I saw a good number of comments showing that a lot of people had either never been in an Apple Store before, or the country slash city that they lived in simply didn't have any Apple Stores. Same here, same here, bro. Uh, <laughs> guys, I am, uh, you know, I'm just a normie, guys. Apple Store, like, that's high-end, bro. There's no one, there, there's no, not a single Apple Store li li within a 40-mile radius or something where I live, bro. It's... And we're good on the Apple Store is where I live, guys. So this time around... I did market research. Costco have around 804 stores across 12. Okay, that yeah. Costco is a lot more mainstream. You know what I mean? Countries. 550. Only 800 though. Jeez, bro. I thought it'd be a lot more, guys. I thought it was a lot more of a mainstay kind of place. I guess Walmart is just the one that dominates. 58 in the United States, 103 in Canada, 39 in Mexico, 29 in the UK, 27 in Japan, 16 in. 27 Japan, wow, they're everywhere, guys. South Korea, 14 in Taiwan, 13 in Australia, 4 in Spain, 2 in France, 1 in Iceland, and 1 in China. So if you don't happen to live in any of these places, or you simply have never visited Costco before, don't you worry. This will be a learning experience. What about England, guys? Experience. I shall enlighten you, young child. Come forth. Looks like they're not Take in England. Corporate hand. So put simply, Costco is a large American wholesale store chain. They're pretty much just big warehouses stocked with products in bulk for businesses. Here's the logo. Here's the store. Here's a video of a man walking around the store very, very fast. And we're up to date. Perfect. And for any of you... It's just the fact that, you know... They got, a, like, a food court in there? That, that's the awesome part. Wise guys out there that are sat there saying, Oh, Joe makes videos on... So you can start a business just buying stuff at Costco. The weirdest subjects ever. First Crocs, now Costco. Well... Hey, this guy's making some good video... Uh, super viral videos, though, not gonna lie. Anyways, the first thing you've got to know about Costco is that it's a members-only club. What? You have to either be a member or be with a member to actually buy things in the store. Now, it's not like it's an exclusive club or anything. I mean, Costco's not exactly hard to get into. I mean, it's barely four knocks. You just have to simply go up to the desk and apply for your Costco card. They're gonna get a special card. I mean, guys, they're pretty expensive, though. Which, as far as cards go, is arguably cooler than an American Express black card. I know, right, guys? It's only a special thing, bro. You gotta pay a monthly freaking fee. Card or a PSA 10 Pokemon card. Oh man. Guys, we didn't we didn't really know about PS Guys, uh Logan Paul really just like spearheaded the whole, you know, graded Pokemon cards. Until then we I didn't even know about graded cards at all. Card. You sign up, pay a membership fee, and you're in. But of course, you need a photo. Now, this isn't just a Costco thing, but those tiny little desk cameras they use to take photos for membership cards are always awful. Like negative three <laughs> megapixel bad. You end up looking. I didn't even know they took a picture, guys. Looking like some wanted drug cartel member from the 70s. Hey. Pretty much. I'm convinced the camera they use to take membership card photos with is the exact same camera that took all of those. Unfortunately, I don't have. I don't have an experience taking a Costco membership card picture. It's, a, it's an adult thing. Alleged photos of Bigfoot or any UFO sighting ever. I mean, the photos from those things are so bad, I'm pretty sure that the Costco worker behind the desk... That Post Malone? ...ever. I mean, the photos from those things are so bad, I'm pretty... Yeah, it was. ...pretty sure that the Costco worker behind the desk could probably do a more accurate rendition of your face using just a crayon. They even have... <laughs> security guard that is Yo, why is he missing a tooth paid to stand at the front of costco and check your membership card to make sure that you match the photo on it how they even validate that i have no fucking idea they might as well just be staring at an ink blot tell me what you see fuck knows mate it's a fucking uh, uh, uh. anyway <laughs> once you have your ugly ass photo sorted you are now a certified costco member and a yay let's go let's go it's a special club it seems man can't even shop there without your card. Free to enter the what what else plays does that guys? Man. Store floor. Now in most Costco's, technology seems to be the Look at all those laptops, man. Beautiful. The first area. So you have your phones, your cameras, your micro Yeah, that's what you walk in first, I think. 
All the freaking cool stuff. Electronics. Waves standard. But then, you see them. Those huge ass 100 inch 12K TVs with OLED LCD OCD. Dang, I didn't even know they had 12K TVs. ADHD ACDC screens for like 10 grand. <laughs> you know what I mean. Those TVs where the quality is so insane and the colours are so vivid, you start to think, is this shit better than my eyesight? Like you look at the TV. Said human eye can only see 24 FPS. TV what the? Seconds, and then Probably is then, guys. Coming off quiz show as well. Everything around you just looks low quality. It makes you rethink your entire ex That's how I feel wa watching like 4K YouTube videos. I, I can't even load 8K, but... Existence. Like your eyes what were set heck? to 480p quality for your whole life. So if you ever do manage to make it out of the TV trance, you can enter the main store. A metropolis of perfectly packaged... Product. I've been to Costco in a cool minute, man. But yeah, they got some cool stuff. Thousands of identically arranged items in huge bulk pallets and shelves towered up to the sea. It's a rich person store. I, I'm, saying, I'm telling you guys right now. You know, nothing's really super cheap, guys. Costco has... I mean, they, they have some stuff, but the average price of, of... The cheapest stuff is like $5, you know what I mean? It's always bulk. Always bulk. Everything you can think of, from coffee refills to wine to rotisserie chicken. Costco Yo. has the most random shit. You wander off on an adventure down an aisle and you find something new in a batch of a thousand. Costco is so big and open and full of shit that it feels like you've broken into someone's storage warehouse. <laughs> yeah, probably Walmart stores warehouse, guys. You know in most stores how you'll go up and ask a worker if they've got a product in stock, and they'll go, oh yeah, let me just go and check in the back. Motherfucker, you are already in the back. <laughs> I know, right? What the heck? In fact, the Costco staff ask you where items are, because they don't even know themselves. I'm convinced some of the people I see shopping around Costco have been in there for 10 years, and they just don't. And some of the workers have know the way out the place is so full to the brim with pure stuff that whenever you turn your head away it feels like a new thing just spawns it's not just loads of smaller items either costco have these big expensive show floor items from sofas to hot tubs to full-blown kids playgrounds i know right i'm sure somebody some someone's kid tried to play on that and don't do that guys do not do that now i used to be so confused as a kid because when i'd see these things i used to think to myself okay so say you bought it how were they supposed to take that to your car and of course obviously i know that's not the case now they don't do that they mail it instead and so <laughs> times there's just one singular super weird item 14 foot animatronic bear statue for sixteen thousand pound why is that there who knows it's costco it <laughs> it makes perfect sense. It's like walking through your nan's ass. Man, they're making such good profit margins they can afford to put that random animatronic bear. Or a very, very large port. Look at all that stuff, man. Consumerism, bros. They even got the Christmas trees. One shop. Best I could do is maybe a $19 Fortnite card. I mean, I don't even know where these things come from. Maybe. Hey, Fortnite. Somebody you could sell that Fortnite card. Was just desperate to get rid of the product and just walked it into Costco and stuck a price tag on it. Costco also have these huge fridges too that I'm... Oh my gosh. The frozen aisle. Convinced to have more landmass than all of Antarctica with frozen fish to ice cream. And don't even get me started on free samples. You have these lovely people dotted all around the store that hand out free food and drink samples of various products. I used to plan out routes in my head. Yeah, bro. Of how I could navigate around. I know. They, they got a good business model, bro. Around the store to hit each one in a chain. And then I'd see <laughs> how many times I could repeat said chain until they finally clocked on and refused to give me free samples. One brisk stroll around Costco and you've got enough free samples to have a full blown three course meal. It's like they reward you. Yeah, the, the samples are pretty for the win, though. You just for being in the store. But I'd be a fool if I. Businesses actually just buy that stuff. Sell it at their convenience store. Turn around and make a whole freaking living doing that, guys. They don't even have to order it from eBay or nothing. I mentioned food in for, for like, from like their manufacturer. Like that's all they gotta do. Bro. I mentioned to Costco and didn't mention the Costco food court. The icon. I got one outside. Mine's inside. Mine's always been inside, guys. Like menu. Now, when it comes to this glorious location, with Costco being American, we all know that America likes to take things and just make them bigger. 
<laughs> big buildings, big cars, big people. And that rule applies to Costco food. Huge hot dogs, the length of two hot dogs, but in one massive hot dog. Gigantic pizzas that look like some sort of shit out of the Guinness Book of World Records. Pizza. Man, their pizza is so delicious, though. A plus pizza, bro. Unless you gotta go there to get it, bro. The line's always long. It's so big that one singular slice could feed a small village for a week. And the smoothies that taste like the Costco workers have gone in the back of the kitchen, walked into a freshly grown orchard, handpicked the fruit for you, and crushed it with the foot of an elephant just for your drink <laughs> King pleasure. The food court is... I never tried the smoothies, guys, but I want to try one now. ...place right at the end of the store, too, rewarding you for making it through the labyrinth that is Costco. The gods have rewarded you with a hearty meal. By far one of my favourite places on planet Earth, a trip to Costco is always a treat. I only have fond memories of the place. And with all of that selection, endless choice, take as much as you need, stock up in bulk, I always end up leaving with one singular rotisserie chicken and a house plant. <laughs> no, this video is not sponsored. I'm a fully grown man talking about Costco. Guys, you got, you got to get more than that. Just a rotisserie chicken. Oh, they are pretty good, though. For the whole video. And just quickly, guys, I'm going. I personally, I'm kind of grossed out by rotisserie chicken. I'm traveling soon, so there might not be a video for a month or two, and I want to put some focus towards some larger video projects. But trust me. Uh, okay, okay. When I get back, there are some very, very big plans. I don't really like plugging shit on videos, but for anybody that doesn't know, Twitter is where I post most of the shit that's going on, and very funny memes. There is a wasp in my PC. There's a Discord server that... Does that even happen, bro? You can join, and I've recently been streaming a lot more on Twitch. So if you guys want to come and hang in some chill streams, that'd be wicked. Stay tuned, gamers. And with all of that said, goodbye. Discord subs. I've never seen a video promote their Discord subs. How's that even possible? This guy's got a million subs almost. There's a former Costco sample guy. I can tell you we're not allowed to deny you any samples no matter how many you eat. Oh, man. This Costco employee, they trained us to treat the members with such respect. They're basically our only supply of income. We only make money from our food court and memberships. So we're instructed to call the shoppers members, not customers. Makes sense, makes sense. As a Costco employee, this is absolutely hilarious. Yeah. Went to a Costco several months ago and one of the employees started playing Ram Ranch. No way, no way. Alright guys, that's the video. Check out Joseph P in the description. Like, comment, subscribe, and do all my reactions live on Twitch. So if you want to come through, say hi, you're more than welcome. And I'll see you guys next one. Later, guys.